Ultra HD Blu-ray announced a new super strong metal that floats Microsoft bricking Xbox Ones and lasers on the space station. These are today's pits. <music> 4K video has been on the rise for a while now. We now have TVs, computer monitors, laptops. I mean, it's safe to say that 4K is yesterday's news. The thing is, while 4K content can be found in many places, such as YouTube, for example, we still don't have a standard for owning our own 4K movies. Sure, if you have the right player, you can stream 4K movies from Netflix or even a couple other online streaming services. But at the end of the day, as of right now, you can't go down to your local Walmart and buy a 4K movie. Well, the Blu-ray Disc Association has just announced their final version of their Ultra HD Blu-ray standard disc. Sporting the new H.265 codec, the new disc will be double and triple layered with capacities of 66 and 100 gigabytes. Now you'll be able to enjoy the re-remastered movies in true 4K. Shown in this example of Ghostbusters, the 2009 version is much blurrier than the 2013, so you should expect some decent gains in clarity. Okay, it's not really that blurry. But check out the description for more information on a digital bridge feature that apparently allows you to export a digital copy that can be remotely verified and played on another device. Researchers have created a new super strong metal that floats on water. Well, technically it's called magnesium alloy synthetic foam, which is just a fancy way of saying Swiss cheese metal. Hmm. The low density makes it lightweight while still being able to handle 25,000 pounds per square inch. So basically we can make cars and boats out of it that are much lighter and can save us money on fuel while still being safe and strong. All being unsurprising, Microsoft has demonstrated their ability to reach through the internet and render your Xbox One useless. In recent events, a couple of game testers have leaked a video from the up and coming Gears of War remake and Microsoft has tracked them down and murdered their Xbox. Well, technically, it may still be possible to play some games locally, but they won't be able to get any updates or use any features that require the internet. The term bricked has been floating around a lot, which should mean that the entire system is unusable, also known as a brick. Creative, I know. However, Microsoft released a statement saying it was only related to online privileges. Either way, if you're a game tester, just remember that non-disclosure agreement that you signed when you first started, well, it's there for a reason. So. Don't be stupid. Since I'm on the topic of Microsoft, I should also say that the information we had before about anyone and everyone getting a free upgrade to Windows 10, even the pirates, was wrong. They confirmed it still runs as a non-genuine license and probably will bug the crap out of you every two hours until you buy a legit one. So if you're a pirate, just wait a little bit longer for a proper crack. The International Space Station is no stranger to danger from high-speed space debris. On many occasions, they've had to make course adjustments to avoid being hit by objects moving over 20,000 miles per hour. Well, in 2017, it's possible that the, that the Japan space module will be fitted with a laser that can force incoming debris away from the station and into the atmosphere. If you're not aware of it, there's over 3,000 tons of space junk just floating around in orbit at ridiculous speeds waiting to wreak havoc on anything important. So this is a much needed technology and it's gonna be very helpful. That and, you know, it's lasers in space. If you like this video, do me a favor, click the like button below. And if you want to hear more, don't forget to subscribe. In recent events, a couple game testers have leaked In recent events, a couple game testers have leaked video from an up and coming games of war remake and Microsoft tracked them down and murdered their ex Oh, wow.